gosh, my life is so over. Angel, what's wrong? Just listen to my horoscope. Someone close to you has a deep, dark secret. <gasps> Uh-oh. You think they found out that I listened to country music? This person will stop at nothing to bring you down. Forget about impending doom with a cucumber and mayonnaise body wrap. Why? Why me? Cut down in my teens before I've even had a chance to go through my rebel stage. Hey, spooky scouts don't worry me. Playing truth or dare with the tweebles again? Now that's scary. Totally. Guys, what's the matter, Cool Cat? Remember that student intern from Your Thing magazine who disappeared a few years ago? Yeah, I think she graduated from Styles High. What was her name? Heather Stone. According to her most recent employer, Miss Berdine Maxwell. That ungrateful intern disappeared without a trace. Now quit wasting my time and go find her. The article says that Heather left no clues behind. She took all her personal items from the office with her. So? I was in the basement looking for some files and found this box. I think the things in it belong to Heather. A little stuffed kitty, a marionette, Heather's office name plaque? A new wallet. Who would leave without their wallet? And why would Burdine lie and say Heather took everything with her? Look, someone drew pink horns on this picture of Heather. Burdine must have really had it out for her. <gasps> 911 emergency! My horoscope, it's coming true, don't you see? It said someone close to me wants to bring me down. And hello, Burdine's just down the hall. She's gonna do to me what she did to poor Heather. I'm going down. <laughs> Those rotten little brats. How come they always beat us to the scoop? <laughs> Your earlobes are getting longer. No, yours are. Yours! Shut up, you incompetence. Oh, I go to all that trouble of sending you to the brat slumber party to spy, and you don't even bother to find anything out. But we did. We, like, found out Yasmin likes vegetarian face masks with <gasps> anchovies. Ew. And Chloe likes Cameron. <laughs> yeah! Enough! As punishment for once again failing miserably, you two are going to clean this office from top to bottom. And if you miss so much as a square inch, so help me, I'll get rid of you. Now go find a moth before I mop the floor with your faces. <laughs> now chop chop. Get rid of us? Bird Breath didn't say that. She said, get rid of you. As in, like, you. You! 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 you, you. you. Ah. Mother of Pink! Ah. I can't wait! <gasps> At last! Thank you for ordering from Voodoo Dolls R Us. To instill pain in your victims, just follow these simple directions. No trace of Heather anywhere. She disappeared from the phone books, never renewed her driver's license, and from what I can tell, left no forwarding address. It's time for Royale and me to go shoe shopping. Now get to work. Chop, chop. Come to Mama, my precious wishes. You wash the windows, I'll like supervise. But you always get to supervise. Oh, well. Yeah. Now get to work! On guard, Monsieur! She's like having a Halloween party, and we're not invited. It's not Halloween yet, you nincompoop. Oh no, that means... That's right, we missed the party. No, it means Bird Butt must have, like, gotten rid of someone. Oh, hey, isn't that what she said she would do to us? <laughs> Let's not jump to any conclusions here. I mean, we don't even know for sure if all that stuff belonged to Heather. Did you hear something? Like what, Cool Cat? Oh! Help! Help! We're like history! Not yet, Bozo! I mean, we're gonna be like history! What 
are you babbling about? Bird lips! She said she was gonna get rid of us, and then we found skeleton bones, like, in her closet. A skeleton? Bourdine's warped, but that still doesn't mean she'd knock someone off. Then explain the bones! Um, she won them in a bingo game at the witch's coven. Oh, I knew there had to be a logical explanation. <laughs> Wait, what's a coven? It's a club for people who ride broomsticks. Now run along back to your playground. Okay, but if Bertine, like, knocks us off, we're gonna be, like, really mad at you. Bunny Boo, the Tweevils are right. <gasps> I so did not hear that. Oh, please, how much more hardcore evidence do we need? The bones, the cute little wind-up kitty, my horoscope. It is weird that Heather just disappeared. Maybe she decided to cut out and see a movie. For the rest of her life? No, don't you see? Something happened to her. I am getting to the bottom of this right now. Why didn't you tell me I had an ugly whisker protruding from my face? We want to ask you something. The secret to my youthful look? 28 glasses of water a day and a good plastic surgeon. Actually, we want to ask you about Heather Stone. <laughs> that low life? I got rid of her. Uh, got rid of her? Precisely. I terminated her, liquidated her, finished her butt good. Oh, you should have heard her begging for mercy. And I'd do it again. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I am so thinking what you're thinking. <laughs> you're right, cool cat. Maybe I am stressing over nothing. Come on, we've got to warn the Tweevils. They're in terrible danger. <gasps> I must destroy the brats. I must destroy the brats. No more brats. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Gosh, <laughs> it's not the Tweevils Perdine's after. It's us. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for doing another sleepover with me, guys. I just know Berdine is out there waiting for the right moment to strike. I bet that's why she crashed our slumber party. She wanted to get us then. What do you wear to your own doomsday party anyway? People, even if she ran through that door right now with a samurai sword, <laughs> she couldn't possibly get all four of us before one of us got her. We're cool as long as we're together, so let's all chill and catch some Z's. Good night. Good night. night. Uh, what if instead of a sword, it was a baseball bat? A bicycle chain. What if I should go instead of a sword? What if baseball operated? People, give it a rest. We'll deal with it in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night. You. What do you want? To apologize. For being so mean all the time, I... I just do it because... Because... I'm afraid if people knew the real me, then... Then they'd really hate me. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Oh, I knew you'd understand. That's why I brought you this special peace offering. It's a new spray-on conditioner imported all the way from the Himalayas. Here, try it. How do you like it? I don't know. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> you have to admit it's fast acting. <laughs> Hello? Yasmin, it's the Emergency Pet Rescue Network. There's a cat trapped in a tree two blocks from you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like my mechanical kitty? Never have to change a litter box again. <laughs> mechanical? <laughs> Too bad brats don't always land on their feet. <laughs> Never 
never stop. Do you hear me? Never. I'll keep you dancing forever. You'll even be dancing on your grave. <laughs> for you. <laughs> when you finish that proofreading, you can take out the trash, change the light bulbs, refinish the floors. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. Take this box down to the basement and move it. Yes, Miss Maxwell. It's not too heavy, is it? No, ma'am. Good. Then take these, too. Uh, heavy. Really heavy. What? Oh, my gosh. It's Casey and Kirstie. You're next. Yeah, Bertine's like going to slowly torture you until you're history. Yeah. yeah. Hi. I'm Heather Stone. Yeah. You don't have to fall apart over it. Aw, Heather went all to pieces. <laughs> I'm scared. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what. We're gonna stop getting spooked and get some facts instead. What do you mean, Bunny Boo? We gotta check out these bones for ourselves. Okay, I'm like, Verdine, I'm sneaking up behind you with a big coat hanger. What do you do? Ah! What are you doing here? We're all in danger. All of us? You fashion freaks too? Yes, but we've got to see those bones to make sure. Okay, but like, hurry up. If Verdine sees you here, she'll go code pink. Ta-da! The bones! Uh, hello? Where are the bones? What happened to them? <gasps> they were, like, right here. Oh, my gosh! Birdface is back! Let's get out of here. You can't. She'll see you. You've got to hide. The closet! You two. Well, you should have thought of that before you disobeyed my orders. Now, you're both on borrowed time. <laughs> borrowed time? Does that mean what I think it means? But we didn't, like, mean to disobey your orders. Yeah! What orders? To vacuum out my car when you were done cleaning the office. But you were driving around in your car. But I'm not now, am I? Oh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but there's nothing like a really good axe. Oh my gosh, look what she's doing. The bones, the bones, they must belong to Heather. Oh, and I had such high hopes that things would work out. Oh, well. Oh, I just wish these were Bratz bones. <gasps> but the Bratz will get there soon enough. for evidence. Come on, people! We're losing her! 
It's hard to keep up. She's got too big a head start. Hello, police. Can you help us? We're tailing a major psycho. We don't know where she's going, but she's trying to get rid of a body. Okay. What are you doing? He said to turn on the global positioning signal on my cell phone, and they'd find us. <gasps> Look! Verdine's car! This place is so creeping me out. Your chance. I can't keep these in my office any longer. I can take care of it and grind them into bone meal. Well, you'd better. This is only the beginning. Only next time, the bones better be destroyed beyond recognition. Now! <laughs> Mother of Pink! You! You! Hey! What are you doing standing up? You brat should be writhing in pain, unable to walk or crawl. Oh, I paid good money for those voodoo dolls. What's going on here? Come one step closer and you'll find out the hard way. Yeah. Wait, Chloe, heavy. Rope burns are so unattractive. Ouch! Ow! Ugh. Mother of pink. Ugh. All right, freeze. Oh, freeze yourself. Do you know who I am? I am Berdine Maxwell, the founder, creator, and editor-in-chief of Your Thing magazine and the reigning queen of fashion. Whatever. I'm taking you in for questioning. For what? For the heinous crime against Heather Stone. Oh, crime? I should have knocked off that little troublemaker. So you did end her life, and those bones will prove it. I want to see those bones. Now. Oh, I can help you with that, officer. In fact, I can help you with a breathtaking variety of gourmet treats for your feathered, finned, or furry friends. Huh? Here at Gourmet Pet Treats International, our motto is, we'll break our back so little precious can snack. Wait, wait, those bones she was smashing? Those are dog treats? Yes, and I specifically ordered them ground up, not whole. Oh, as I said, Ms. Maxwell, I, I promise that next time... Oh, uh... shut up. Uh, officer, I guess this is my fault. When we saw the bones, I got a little carried away. No, you didn't, Angel. We all did what we thought was right. Even if it turned out wrong. Wait, not so fast. You still haven't explained what happened to Heather Stone. Oh, her? You can find her deep underground. <gasps> How could you? Easy, little ingrate. She had the audacity to just walk out of the office after I criticized the sloppy way she waxed my car. Didn't even bother to tell me she quit, so I reported her missing for nothing. Ah, but I got even. I told everyone in the magazine world that I fired her for wearing polyester drawstring pants to work with a matching muumuu, and she never worked in fashion again. <laughs> now she's a subway conductor. Doot doot. Just try to apply eyeliner at 30 miles an hour, missy. What a scary week. First, that scary slumber party with the Tweevils. And that scary game of truth or dare. Hey, guys, my order arrived. What order? Just some stuff I bought for fun. Slamming. Scorching. Give me a pin. Off the hook. These are great for stress. Too bad they don't really work, huh? <laughs> Maybe the mystery that wasn't was a little embarrassing. But our Bratz Magazine cover story, Clear Out the Fashion Skeleton in Your Closet, was a big hit. Wow, check.
check out our fan mail. Most of it's for you, cool cat. Must have been that cover story I did on extreme street fashions. Get real. Like, who would ever wear those weirdo clothes? Your fashion sense, like, so stinks. A baby's diaper smells better? <gasps> you are, like, such a fashion freak? Get yourself a circus job? My readers hate me! Wait! Cool Cat! Bunny Boo, there is something seriously suspicious about these letters. <laughs> I am such a loser! Maybe I should just quit the magazine. No way, Cool Cat. We couldn't do Bratz without you. If you left, we'd have to shut down forever, and everyone at school would have to read your thing magazine, and their brains would rot, and Queen Verdine would rule the world. What a nightmare. Look, before you do anything totally crazy, come with me to see a psychic. What good would that do? A lot. She'll predict your future, and then you'll know you have nothing to worry about. Come on, what do you have to lose? Well, okay. Hmm, a psychic. The future is looking very pink. What brings you here today? I'm freaking out about my future. Perfection. Let me take a little pixie wixie inside my crystal ball. <gasps> Mother of crystal? Do you have three friends who work with you at some sort of uh, publication? Yes. Horror of horrors! <gasps> you must leave the magazine immediately or your friends will be... <gasps> my friends will be what? Doomed! And it will all be our fault. Jade, wait! Come back! Out of my way, you rotten little brat! What did you tell my friend? The truth, now scram! Berdeen! Oh my gosh! I've gotta find Jade! Jade! Jade, can you hear me? Where are you? reporting live from the Stylesville Mall. Maniacal magazine mogul Bertie Maxwell has just launched another assault, attacking innocent victims with her specially formulated brain-reducing pink spray of doom. Taking over the world is like so much fun! Yeah, it's like even better than reset. I hope you peons like your smoothies pink. <laughs> pink. Pink, pink. And it's another stunning victory for Bertine Maxwell. But wait, the Bratz, Stylesville's very own fashion superheroes have come to save the day! <gasps> Party's over, Bertine. Oh, but I'm just starting to have fun. <gasps> Try this, it's a free sample. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your faces, people! Don't let her turn us into pink zombies! At last! This mall is mine! <laughs> Today the juice bar, tomorrow the world! <laughs> Bertie Maxwell has once again trounced the brats in a stunning defeat. <laughs> Girls, do you have anything to say? <laughs> Jade! Wherever you are, we need you! <laughs> oh no, my worst nightmare has actually come true. Be unstoppable. <laughs> Perfect. 
action. My diabolical potion is ready. A potion so ghastly, so evil, that no one will ever dare stand in my way again. I bet it, like, makes you all bloaty. Hello? What? Bratz Magazine is still outselling your thing? Please don't hurt me! That settles it. We must destroy those belligerent brats and their miserable little magazine once and for all. Brats, it's time for you to go to that big catwalk in the sky. We'll never beat Bradine without Jade. Our only hope is to get her back here. It's not happening, pretty princess. Cool Cat is gone. Uh oh, it's the emergency hotline. I'll put it on video phone. Girls, Mayor Tachi here. Code Red, I mean Code Pink. Emergency! Bertine's attacking Styles High. We need your help immediately. People, like it or not, it's styling time. All that stands between me and world domination are those three wretched brats who should be flying in any second now to protect their precious school. Give it up, Bardeen! Quick! Deploy mega missiles! from down. You insipid little brats think you can destroy me? Well, think again. I don't think the brats will be able to take this. Hold on, people.
Verdine is totally going to pay for this. It's Queen Verdine to you. Girls, what do you say? We need to get the brats. What do you think of the brats? Yes. It's finally over for you ratty little brats. The reign of pink has begun, and your thing magazine will rule once again. The girls with a passion for fashion are about as over as the hoop skirt. Dream on, Verdine. <laughs> and now you will be the first to sample the most potent of my life-destroying potions, Agent Rosé. Potion was supposed to destroy, not disfigure. Hey, Kirsty, what are we like doing over there? Oh my gosh, we've been tweevalized! Citizens of Stylesville, Birdie Maxwell has captured the brats and is conquering the rest of the free world as I speak. Long live the Queen! Long live Birdie! Long live the Queen! Jade, where are you? Self-expression and freedom of choice have been outlawed. Birdie now controls everything, even the food supply. That's right, Tubbo. No more carbs for you or anyone else. From now on, you eat what I eat and you do what I tell you. For I am Verdine Maxwell, the founder, president, editor in chief of Your Thing magazine. And now, once again, your reigning queen of fashion. Long live the queen! Yeah! My first decree, I am ordering you all to wear pink. And everyone must carry a copy of Your Thing magazine with them at all times. Your Thing? My teenage daughter says that magazine reeks. Stop it, Tubbo! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Please join me later today for my special press conference in which I will be announcing the demise of the Brats. to know you won't be around for the return of shoulder pads. Hmm? <laughs> hey, if I have to go around looking like a tweeble, then taking a swim in boiling oil suddenly doesn't seem so bad. Tell me about it. I'll never be able to look in a mirror again. But think what it will do to our complexion. You've done some low things, Berdine, but this time you've outdone even yourself. Flattery is not going to save you. I'm so glad Jade's been spared this. Well, at least she had the good sense to desert you rodeo clowns. She left the magazine because of that hate mail the Tweedle sent and your phony psychic prediction. Mm, the perfect plan which is coming to fruition now that I am sending you despicable brats to your untimely deaths. <laughs> Excuse me? Death? I think I'm going to have an extreme teen drama queen moment here. Our lives are like so over! Ah! <laughs> All my fault. I never should have left the magazine of my friends. 
How can I ever forgive myself? Jade! I'm stoked to see you. I've been looking everywhere for you. What's happening? It's like Verdine has taken over the whole city. Where are the brats? They're in serious danger. Verdine's got them held up at the pet food factory. You gotta rescue them before it's too late. Come with me, Cameron. I don't think I can do it. I can't. My lack of superpowers will only hold you back. Besides, you're a fashion superhero. Correction. Was a fashion superhero. Not true. You've just gotta believe in yourself again. Their lives and the fate of the world depend on it. You're right. It's styling time. Wish me luck, Cameron. Jade, may the passion for fashion be with you. Hanging from a rafter above a boiling cauldron of pink oil is so not what I wanted to do tonight. Where have you two bozos been? It's time to make brats dip. Lower the ropes. Uh, Kirsty, Casey, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get rope warts. Bill! Don't listen to them. Lower them, lower them! <laughs> Royale is waiting for his brat's puppy chow. Now, chop, chop. Not so fast, losers! Jay! Who? Oh, what? No, Cool Cat, it's, it's us! You gotta believe it! Verdine turned us into Tweedles! Mother of Pink, get her! Cool Cat, watch out! Uh. Cool Cat, watch your back! You will never defeat me, you freak of fashion! Bring it on, Verdine! Oh! Okay, bird butt, kiss my feet! Watch him! Royale's going tweeball. <gasps> you wouldn't dare watch me. <laughs> Yo, Cool Cat, watch it! <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> Mother of Pink! My power! It's gone! One last thing, Bird Butt. I have a little present for you. Voila! <gasps> Carbs! Are you trying to make me fat? You get the idea. Now eat up, or it's Tweevil time for you. Chop, chop! Mother of Pink! Do you know who I am? I am Boudin <coughs> Maxwell, the founder, the president, editor-in-chief of your thing, <coughs> magazine, and the reigning queen of fashion. <laughs> Okay? I think so. Ouch. We 
can explain everything. It all started out with the Tweevils, who we found out wrote those nasty letters, and then Berdine pretended to be a psychic, and then... You can explain later, Angel. Right now, we've got a magazine to put out. And so, my contribution to this month's issue of Bratz Magazine was a radical departure from my style and fashion scoops. My article, What Your Dreams Reveal About You, became the cover story. And you know what? Our readers loved it. Dear Jane, your articles rock. You are my fashion superhero. Thanks, everyone. I love you, too. And may the passion for fashion always be with you. 